Welcome to this short video on BIM Query. BIM Query allows a user to modify data in their model via an Excel spreadsheet or an Excel spreadsheet looking um, interface. So to get started, I'm going to select a window here. And you can see this window, it's got a material frame of aluminum and the casement is also aluminum. And I want to change those. So once I have something selected, I'm going to come up here to the Kobe Toolkit ribbon. I'm going to come over here to BIM Query. The BIM Query dialog box comes up and inside this dialog box, it looks like an Excel spreadsheet. And as you can see here in the middle, it actually brings up the one window that I had selected. And as you can see here, there's a lot of parameters. Now, I don't really want to see all those parameters. I'm only looking at changing the frame and the casement material. And I want to do all the windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to category. Under category name here, I'm going to go down and find windows. Now we can't always go in here and do a search in here. Filter this out. So there's my windows. If I click on windows, I'm going to expand out windows. Now I don't want to do all the properties. So what I'm going to do is expand these out again. And there I have under instance parameter, I get materials and finishes. And I'm just going to click on casement and frame. And I'm going to go OK. And now it's going to populate them with all the windows. And as you can see over here, I've got the materials for the casement and the frame. Now, if I wanted to, I could save this out as an Excel spreadsheet and then I can modify the Excel spreadsheet and then bring it back in. Instead of me going out to Excel, I'm going to make the changes right here in this dialog box. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change this to say steel and I want to change them all to steel windows. Come over here, change this to steel also, and I'm going to make the change to all of those. Okay. So now that I've made the change, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go apply and close. And now you'll see over here, the material is steel. And if I go to any window, you'll see that they're all changed to steel. Now I'm going to show you a couple other things in here. Let's go down to sheets. What I want to do is I want to create a new sheet in here. So I'm going to come up here to BIM query. I'm going to go to category. And I'm going to type in sheets here. There's sheets. And same thing. I don't want to see all the properties in here for sheets. What I do want to see is I want to see the sheet name and the sheet number. And I'm going to go OK. And what I want to do is I want to create some new sheets. So I'm going to just copy this and I'm going to paste it in here three times. Now, this ID is a unique ID. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in new. So when we bring this back into Revit, it knows to create a new sheet. And I'm going to come over here and give this thing a new name. So I'm going to go sheet one, title sheet one, two, and three. And let's go over here and just change these to say AO22, 23, and 24. Okay, when I'm done with this, I'm going to go apply and close. And now if I come down in here to sheets, you can see this is A022, 23, and 24. Those are the new sheets I created. One last thing we're going to look at, we're going to go back into BIM Query again just to look at some of the other things that we can do inside this dialog box. So we've already looked at categories. We can refresh this. We can go into presets. What presets are is the way you've selected these. So we, I selected windows a moment ago and I only wanted to see the casement and frame. I could save that so I don't have to go through that again. And as you can see here, there's a few of them already created. And we can also go to schedules so we can open up schedules this way. So if we had a schedule in here, we could actually open up the schedule and make our changes there. Uh, we can change the format. And then we get some other things in here. Move selected fields left and right. And find and replace text. There we have our save as Excel spreadsheet. Or we can open up an Excel spreadsheet. You can apply these changes and stay in the dialog box. In this case here, I did apply and close. And you could select something on the screen and then close the dialog box. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. And this concludes this short video on BIM Query. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.